Hey guys, welcome back to Maple Syrup Gaming and Tech. I'm Rick, and today we're going to be looking at another update video for the BIOS updates on the AM4 platform. There was one company that was lacking from all my other videos because they actually come out came out with their update a little bit later than the other companies, which was MSI. And secondly is that, we'll see it in a few seconds, but their website is actually designed uh, in an odd fashion, which is making it a little harder to actually find the BIOS updates for AM4. But we'll look at that together and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so basically this is a BIOS update that is very important because it's bringing AG, AGSA, uh, AGSA code uh, 1.0.0.6 which is fixing for the moment from what I can see from my other videos in the comments. It seems like it's fixing at least 80% of the memory problems that Ryzen has been having, meaning that you can now lock in the XMP profiles for your uh, memory kits. Uh, sometimes you have to lock them in manually, but what I mean is the settings are now working and they're running at full speed. So it's an update that I would really recommend you do if you did invest in an AM4 platform because you're finally getting decent memory compatibility with uh, you know most kits out there. Uh, I actually don't have an MSI board to test it myself yet, but I nonetheless wanted to throw the information out there and show everyone where you can find the updates on the website so that you guys can get it through. And as we did for the other videos, I would really appreciate it if anyone trying it out on an MSI board and getting compatibility issues, either positive or negative, leave it in the comments below. We can all help each other out. Let us everyone know what kits are working, what kits are not working, meaning that everyone, anyone building a system can actually come through the comments and find out which kits they should be buying based on right now what's working with the new update. So without further ado, let's go look at it. So we're here on the MSI website. So this is the Canadian one, but it's exactly the same in the States. It just says US instead of Canada up here. Uh, we're gonna go to the products page and we're gonna be choosing gaming motherboards right here. Now what's really odd on the MSI site is normally here you choose your chipset. However, if you look at the AMD section, which are the two down here, AM4 is actually not mentioned meaning that it's a little bit harder to actually find your AM4 motherboards. So uh, the best way I saw it is that you choose what line of, of motherboard you're in. So either you're in the enthusiast, performance or arsenal. Let's go with performance where most of their motherboards are. And you actually have to go manual th through the list here and look, you find the X370 Pro, uh, my God, X370 Gaming Pro Carbon. Uh, with the uh, Wi-Fi or the version without Wi-Fi, you select whatever board you have. If you look, they're all here: X370 Gaming Pro and so forth. If you're not in the in like in the gaming line, you can be in the Pro line or you can be in the Enthusiast. The Enthusiast is pretty much just the uh, X370 Titanium. Uh, so let's just take the X370 Gaming Pro here as an example. In the middle of the page down here, we have support. And right here, the first section is BIOS, and you have right here the download for AG4 uh, BIOS update. In this one, it's 7A32V23. And this is, as you see here, it's indicated AGSA code 1.0.0.6. So, you know, if you flash this BIOS, like I said, 80% of the memory problems you had are, seem to be solved on most kits. Uh, meaning that it's a really huge boost in performance for a lot of people out there. I know on, my, on the comments on the other videos I made, it's working most of the time. So I would really recommend this is a BIOS update that's worth flashing. Uh, however, regular disclaimer that I've done in all my videos, if you're not too sure how to flash a BIOS, do get informed first and do make sure you're doing it in a safe environment, meaning that your system will not be powering down due to a power outage or something like that. Reason why is that if unfortunately you lose power during a BIOS update, you can actually brick your motherboard, meaning that your motherboard will be useless. And in some motherboards, if they do not have a reflash utility, you'll actually be forced to send it back to the manufacturers, meaning you, meaning you actually lose your board for a couple of weeks while the manufacturer reflashes the BIOS and sends it back to you. So trust me, it's happened to me in the past. It's pretty much happened to anyone who's built over like a dozen systems. At one point, it's going to happen. You're going to brick a BIOS. Uh, it is not fun times, trust me. Um, so regular disclaimer, if you're not too sure how to do it, do check. As I said in my previous video for Asus also, if anyone out there wants to actually see an update video, it might not be with MSI. It'll be probably with ASRock, as that's where most of my motherboards and AM4 are right now. But nonetheless, you know, the, the basis is the same. It doesn't change very much from one manufacturer to the other. But if anyone wants to see how a BIOS update is done, 
please leave it in the comments down below uh, and I'll get that video out to you guys soon. I just know that there's a lot of videos on that already out there. So if you guys are finding what you need out there already, I won't be throwing out a video for nothing. However, if you think you guys could want to see it really for the AM4 platform, let me know and I'll do it. Uh, as usual, likes are really appreciated. Subscriptions are even loved. Uh, the more subscriptions, the more likes, the more views I have, the more money I'll have actually to reinvest and do better videos, you know, with actual motherboards, actual products. I'm already doing a lot of builds. I try to do one uh, about a month or one every two months, but we'll be getting better builds. The more views, the more likes, the more subscriptions I have. Um, so if you guys are appreciating the videos, please leave a like, comments uh, as well. And, uh, you know, all, overall, I'm doing this really because I have a love for computers. So I really want to be able to keep doing this as much as possible. So I hope you guys appreciate it. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video.